So it is 8 a.m. here in Zagreb, and today we are heading to Belgrade. So we've got to clean up this Airbnb, finish packing all of our shit, go pick up our rental car, head over to Roots, get some breakfast. Oh no, hold on, no, 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 give me that. Because you gotta put Endurex on me. If any airlines are watching this, this carry-on only weighs 10 pounds. Okay. Oh yeah, that definitely looks like a 10 pounder. Because Katu cannot get it on herself. Can't even lift this bad boy. Ah. There we go. Oh yeah. You're taking the laundry bag though. Oh. One of these days we'll actually leave a city with clean clothes. Laundry's a bitch. Come on, murder. Okay, let's go. Let's go over what our trip involves today. We are here in downtown Zagreb in Croatia. We are going to an enterprise rental car that is also in downtown, and we are driving from here all the way to our place in Belgrade. That is a, around a four hour drive, but it'll probably be longer than that because we are going through a yeah. road border. So we've got border crossing to go through. We'll have to stop somewhere once we cross the border and pick up new SIM cards for our phones. Probably also find something to eat throughout the day and then we're gonna have to find parking when we get to Belgrade itself. We decided to do this, right? We could have just flown. <laughs> option number two was flying. And why didn't we do option two? Because Katu gets so motion sick and Josh's driving really does help. <laughs> So we're driving. The only downside is driving is more expensive than flying in these instances because the rental car is $70, but the one-way drop-off fee in another country, that's $300. It's a lot more expensive than just a short flight, which I think would have been about $70 a piece, but... We may just scrap the whole thing and fly next time if we find that this is just not working out for me. Yeah, this might be miserable. We don't know, but we're gonna find out. Now I need to figure out how this chair leans. How's this? It's a cr it's a crank. Jesus. They gave us just the cheapest car because it's getting dropped off in another country. So they gave us just the cheapest yeah. car. Yeah. So but after 15 minutes of like rage and anger, I finally figured out how to get Android Auto to work on it. 20 years in IT still pisses me off. Mm -hmm. Like a lot, a lot. I'm pretty sure I told Kat, please don't film this because I'm just full of rage and anger. Uh, no, baby, I don't want to do this right now. I have to figure this out so we can get to Belgrade. But Android Auto works now. That's a travel tip. When you're renting a car and you're crossing to another country with it, they'll give you the oldest piece of crap car there is in the lot. It is sour cream and onion flavored styrofoam and it's magnificent. Yes, yeah. Couldn't find those in America, surprisingly. Palm sticks. Uh, we had these with like hickory sticks in Canada, except this one's flavored paprika. Paprika, sour cream, and regular are the big flavors in uh, Croatia. Haribo, everywhere. Coke flavored. Some Mentos for the breath. And then, Max. Soft, ooh, it smells good. It smells good, but it's very doughy. Six and a half out of 10. And not bad. So we're now pulling up to the border between Croatia and Serbia. We'll see how this goes. There's a giant line of semi-trucks leading up to it, but the car lane season's empty. Hopefully we'll see you on the other side shortly. 
No one who works at immigration is ever happy. None of these people were happy, but that was actually pretty easy. Like happily, we don't drive a semi truck, which you can probably see behind me. The line for them is insanity. I'm assuming because every single one gets inspected. But for us, we pulled up the Croatian side, stamped our passports, didn't even speak to me. And then we hit the Serbian side. He looked at our faces, looked at our passports, scanned the passports, stamped them, sent us on. We hit one more booth where the guy like kind of glanced at the car to see if like we had a lot of luggage or anything, I guess to see if we needed inspected, but he pointed us on and that was it. We're in What's up, yeah? If you're doing long-term travel, most likely you do not have one SIM card that is staying yeah. with you everywhere because it just doesn't work. Like keeping a Verizon or a T-Mobile SIM in your phone and eating all of those data roaming charges is insanity. So you cross a border in any country or you land at the airport, whatever, go buy a local SIM card. First thing you do. Very first thing you do. So like the one we just bought cost me like five bucks and it gives me 20 gigs for the next three days, which I can top up or extend. We're probably gonna buy a better one once we get into Belgrade proper, but now we've got internet connection, 20 gigs for three days for the rest of our journey to our Airbnb. We can reach out to our host, we can check traffic, all that good stuff. Almost every gas station all throughout Europe sells SIM cards. There's telecom carriers all over the place. Any airport you go to has them. Newsstands, kiosks, get a local SIM. You will save so much money in the long term. In Croatia, we got 30 day SIM cards for the two of us. Total cost 40 bucks. Both of them had 22 gigs of data. Second thing you do, immediately try and hit up an ATM. Get the local currency. Exact. Yes, yeah, you wanna, you wanna make sure you've got some local cash on you, just in case. Mm -hmm. Now, can we, Pump the AC again. It's yeah, I'm gonna hot. pump the it's AC again. It's a hot again, day in yeah. Serbia. It's 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 uh it's about 80, 83, 84 degrees <laughs> outside in Serbia. So now we have the AC running. You can't hear me as well. And now we have to go to Belgrade. That was, that was the B-roll of the Airbnb that we're in, which is right on like the main street at the very top level, which is unfortunate because the elevator only goes up to the fourth floor and we're on the fifth floor. It's the stairs. Driving into Belgrade was definitely the way to go. Um, it's better than flying, cat doesn't get as motion sick, and it's kind of fun. But traffic in Belgrade is a legitimate nightmare. If you're planning to drive into Belgrade from Croatia or Bosnia or wherever, be ready for a lot of traffic. But we're here, we're tired, we're gonna take a nap. Tomorrow, the exploring begins. Yes, we gotta go find food and coffee and pastries and places to see and go and do and... <sighs> Taking a nap. <laughs> Bye. You're sexy. Did you need to pop it in the car, honey? <laughs> Pro tip, if you ever get the chance to drive an Opal Astra, don't. Garbage car. Don't put it on the thing, hold it. But the problem is, it's pointing down. Do we not have something? If we do, we always get that. Motherfucker.